Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and as you can see behind me, we are going through all of my outerwear of vintage and thrifted jackets, blazers, wool coats, trench, all types of outerwear that I have collected over the years. Outerwear is definitely probably my favorite thing to thrift or vintage shop. I don't know why, I think it's because my style, my outfits are definitely more on the simple minimalist side. So. Jackets are where I complete my look. That's where I tend to branch out a little bit or just add a bit of detail to my outfit and my style. So it is the first place I go to when I enter a thrift shop or a vintage boutique. I go to the outerwear section. You can just find such good pieces thrifting and I am just so obsessed with it. So I thought I mentioned it previously in one of my videos and you guys said that you guys would love seeing it so here it is as you can tell I have an addiction that I am well aware of but I just love it it's something that I'm very passionate about I just love vintage shopping especially in the outerwear department and what you see behind me I'm probably missing a couple pieces because it's either in storage or it's in my closet and I just missed it. So I probably do have more than what I'm showing today, but this is a good look into my vintage outerwear collection. So I kind of organized it from blazers to leather to suede to more of my wool trench outerwear this way. So we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. And I'll kind of give a backstory, if there is a backstory, with all the pieces that I purchased or where I purchased it, if I can remember, because this is definitely over the years I have collected these. So the first one is actually my sister's, but I had to mention it because I just love it. And I'm pretty sure she found this at a little thrift pop-up in New York. and Or she might have found this in Boston when she lived there, but it's this beautiful green wool blazer and I just think this is so unique and different. I love the olive green color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I just think this jacket can complete a look. I love the silhouette of it. I love how the buttons on the jacket are also the same color. So it's a nice olive green color which just helps tie in this very... It just helps tie it in instead of it being a different color button. I like that it's the same color. It gives a very monochromatic look and I just think it's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. With some jeans and a white tee putting this on you just kind of instantly look more elevated and put together and that's why I love jackets is that it can create a very you know comfortable outfit and instantly make it look more professional when you add a nice little blazer like this it also gives it a pop of color with this dark olive green and I'm obsessed with this this next jacket was actually a Christmas present from my cousin Carly who we have very similar style we love thrifting and vintage shopping and she we always get each other a gift at Christmas time and I just get so excited because we always either thrift our gifts um, that we get each other or we just always hunt for just like the perfect piece and I've been wanting a short wool, I don't know if it will fit over this but I'm going to try it on beside me, you'll see it on me, but I just wanted a nice like form fitted wool blazer like this for the winter. This looks so chic with again a pair of jeans and a white turtleneck or a white long sleeve underneath of it maybe with like a nice jacket maybe your hair pulled back in a slick back bun and some boots or even maybe some like closed toed kitten heels or something like that just such a chic look and I've been wearing this also buttoned up with like a skirt as well and I love that too I got this last year and it's been one of my favorites I just love it it's the perfect cut on my body I love the short cut of it I don't have anything like it so I was very excited when she gave me that this next one I am in love with it's a vintage Ralph Lauren blazer and I just think this definitely gives my outfit a bit more of unique look when I put this on it is like your standard Ralph Lauren look 
I love the brown velvet on the collar as well as the cuff of the sleeve. I love the pattern. I love how it's like these browns and dark reds and greens. It's like my colors that when I branch out of the neutral, this is what I wear with like the greens and like the dark reds. I'm just in love with it. And I found this at a estate sale near my house. Honestly, estate sales are so good for finding vintage clothing. This person had just the most amazing collection of vintage shoes, vintage clothing. Like, I just want to, it just, you know, she went to like galas and dances or I don't know what she did when she was younger, but her closet and her wardrobe was just like, I was in shock. So I got this and I... I'm in love with it. It's absolutely stunning. I love the colors and I love that the collar and the cuff of the sleeve is just in this like brown. It just adds such a cute little detail to the jacket as well as the buttons are in this velvet dark brown color as well. I'm just so in love with it. Okay, moving on. So those are all my wool blazers that I have thrifted over the years slash have gotten slash stole from my sister. Moving on to leather blazers, I wear these so much year after year in the winter time as well as the spring and the fall. I feel like I get my most wear of my leather blazers just because they're so universal. I just wear them with so many different things. So the first one is this beautiful kind of beige color and this one's from Hey Jude, the online vintage store. I just love this. This is so me. I love the beige. I think it's different. You don't really find leather jackets in this color. You usually find them in like your basic black and your brown, which I love. But when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is so me and different. And I have been wearing this so much. I think I got this two or three years ago. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just such a good blazer. And I love the beige color on it. You know, me and beige, just wearing all like the creams and beige in this with like my bone still here jeans. Just such a good look with maybe some like brown booties. Perfect for the winter time. This next one, I was so proud of this moment when I purchased this. I, I think I got this when I made my first paycheck in fashion i'm pretty sure or my first freelance job i for i kind of forget the moment which is kind of bad because this was such a big moment but this was the most expensive when i was like younger the most expensive vintage person purchase i've ever made it was kind of like a I don't know, proud moment of mine that I was able to purchase it. I was just so excited. I saw this on Evelina Vintage, which I was just in love with their vintage store and I wanted something from them so bad, but I wanted something that I knew I would wear year after year that's timeless because I love their dresses. I just didn't know when I was younger, I was like, okay, my style might change. Like, I might not like that in like a few years from now, I wanted to get a staple piece that just I would have forever. And I came across this one. I actually think I first saw this on their Instagram and I was like, this is me. I have to have this. And my mom kind of talked me into it. She was like, Hannah, you deserve it. I forget why I deserved it, but I deserved it apparently. And I purchased it and it was just such a surreal moment. And I was just so proud of myself. And it just brings me a lot of happiness every time I either look at it or wear it. I just love it. It's a really cool dark brown blazer with this really cool kind of like orange. Not really orange, but a kind of a burnt orange buttons. I just love the contrast of the colors. I just think it really elevated my look. And like I said, this is a type of blazer that I will wear and have forever. So very good purchase by my younger self and I will always cherish this jacket just because it was such a moment in my life that I was like able to purchase such an expensive vintage blazer and I was just so in love with it. So yeah, that's the story behind that jacket and I love it. The next piece, I got this in Florida at one of the vintage stores there. I kind of forget what the name, I think it's nearly new vintage. 
Does that sound right? Earth. I forget what the name is, but I'll link all the ones that I can down below. But I found this. And I just wanted kind of more of a longer leather jacket and I saw this I was like okay this is perfect it was kind of more oversized and I just loved the look of it it was just a simple clean cut silhouette which I really liked it was very different than all the other blazers and leather jackets that I have and I didn't have anything that was like not super long but not super short it was kind of the perfect mid length that kind of acted as more of like a jacket jacket than just like a blazer so it was a good mix of both and I just really love the color I'm obsessed with chocolate brown and I just loved how simple it was like the simple design of it just really stood out to me there was nothing no detail added it was just very clean and I just knew I just I had to have it and the price was so good I need to remember the name of that vintage store because their pricing is just incredible like I think the most expensive piece that I bought there was maybe like $20 so they have some really great stuff for a really good price so I will definitely remember that because my sister I feel like has gone back there many of times since we went there so I'll ask her and I'll leave that link down below because it's just so good the next jacket I got this a while ago and I remember the reason why I was looking for this I think I just got this at a random thrift shop in Hamden Maryland but I wanted a leather jacket to go out in in the winter time because you know how much it was a struggle going out in the winter time with a coat? You didn't want something that you would be too hot in inside when it got really crowded in the bar, but then outside you were freezing, so you needed something to keep you warm. But I didn't want all like the silver buckling or the zippers. I just wanted something, again, very simple, clean cut. So I came across this one and I thought this would be perfect because it's short, it would keep me warm, it would look good with pretty much anything I wore and it didn't have any buckles or zippers or anything to it i just didn't really i wasn't a fan of all those details on a coat so i really liked how simple this was so that's really why i purchased this and i'm just now reasoning realizing i lost a button to it so i have to get that fixed but yeah just really wanted a simple leather jacket to go out in so that's how i got this jacket moving on this I wanted, and this actually comes with a belt, but I don't know where it is. Okay, well, I don't know where that is, but this I found, I think I found this on like eBay, but I wanted a leather jacket, and I actually have two of them. This one's more oversized, and I found this, I might have found this one at Goodwill, actually, and I found this at a thrift shop in Hampton, but I wanted... This is the one I found first, actually, and I wanted just a big jacket that I could tie. I wanted a tie black leather jacket uh, for a more like heavier leather coat. So I found this one and I really loved it and it was more oversized. And then this one, I liked how it was very similar, but it was more form fitted. So it didn't fit so oversized like this one did, which is why I really liked this one. It was more form fitted. It flattered me a little bit more if I wanted to have more of a shape than like more of a boxy shape, which this one gave me. So that's why I picked this one out and it was at Goodwill. So it was a very good price and that's how I got those two. But I just really love the tie detail and how it accentuated your waist a little bit more in like a bulkier leather jacket. Moving on to my suede blazers. I love suede so much i love it in outerwear i think it's absolutely gorgeous so i have a few suede jackets the first one i got this one i know from a shop in hamden i was so in love with the beige color when i found it or like the sand color i loved how it was a little bit oversized and longer i just thought it was absolutely gorgeous i remember when i found it i was like this is beautiful I need this this is one of my first like I bought this a while ago it was one of my I think this was actually the first suede blazer vintage wise that I purchased and I just was obsessed with the material 
and I just thought it would just complement my style and my wardrobe so well. So I picked this up and I still wear it so much. I actually wore it the other day to dinner and I forgot how much I loved it. That's kind of what happens when I have so many, which is kind of sad, so many coats and blazers, which is why I really need to, every time I go thrifting or vintage shopping with like my mom or my sisters, they're like, Hannah, you need to stay away from the coats because you have too many and you just need to take a pause but every time i just come back with either a blazer or some type of outerwear it's like it is a problem i i need i need help with it but i'm trying to work on it because i have so many beautiful outerwear pieces that every fall and winter when i take them out of the boxes from putting them away for spring and summer i like forgot that i had them and i've done like so many like thrift and vintage shopping in the summer or springtime that I bought new ones and I'm like wait that's so similar to one that I already have so yeah that's where I'm at usually when it comes to outerwear but this next one I got this one also in Florida I actually got the next two in Florida uh, but I just really like this color I liked how it was more laid back it wasn't so structured because I did get this one, which was a very structured jacket, which I love. But I liked how this one was more casual feeling. And I liked the color. It was It's more of like a burnt orangey brown color. I just thought it was really different. I liked the shape of it. And again, I liked how casual it was. I felt like I could really dress this down. And it would look really nice. And it wouldn't like feel very structured or I feel like I could easily move around in it because it has such a easygoing structure to it. It's very, like I said, like flimsy, if that, that's the right word, I don't even know, but very laid back. And I just really, really liked it. I also love the collar on it. I just thought that was very different. And the color just really spoke to me and the casualness of the jacket I really really loved now this one I wear I wore this so much last fall I also got this in Florida and I loved this one because of the structure of it I've never I didn't see anything like it the only thing when I first originally bought it that I was scared of was the buttons because if I come closer they're kind of giving animal print design on the buttons which I wasn't a fan of but I can always change the buttons. I haven't yet because honestly when I wear it, I don't even notice it. But when they start to fall off, I'll probably change it to just a simple, like either tan or something like that. Like a color in this, just a solid color because I feel like I would like that a lot more. But I love how structured this is. I think it's absolutely stunning. It fits so well and I wear this all the time. I wore this nonstop ever since last fall and winter because I was just so in love with it and obsessed and it was like a newer jacket that I just bought last fall so you know when you buy a new piece you just want to wear it so much until you get sick of it that was that piece this next piece I actually have never worn which is kind of sad I bought it kind of I bought this in Florida as well actually a lot of these jackets I found in Florida because the price was just so good and I just had to have them but this, I, this was a piece that I was questioning when I bought it, but it, I think I bought it for like $4. So it was kind of the deal like, okay, if I wear it and start loving it, then that's fine. If I don't wear it, then it's okay because it, it was only $4. And I took a lot of pictures and I sent it to my cousin. And she's like, no, I think it's really cute. But I just, I'm struggling styling it or struggling figuring out if I actually love it or not. So maybe you can help me. But I really loved the material. It was kind of this almost shiny effect. It was just very different than anything I have, so that's why I really loved it. I loved the buttons to it. I thought they were really unique and different. I just don't know about the collar. And I like how it fits. You'll, you'll be able to see here. I really liked how it fit. I just don't know how to style it or how to wear it. And I just didn't know about the uh, collar to it. But I'm going to try again this fall because I think it's really cool and different and unique. I'm just struggling 
with figuring out how I want to wear it. This next piece, I want to say it was also a Florida piece. And this reminded me of the parent trap immediately when I purchased it, like Elizabeth James or Elizabeth, isn't that the mom on Parent Trap? It reminded me of her and I just had to have it. I think it's so cute. Even like buttoned just at the top and leaving the rest unbuttoned with a white shirt and some jeans. I just love it. I love how different it is. I feel like I've never seen anything like this. And I loved how it reminded me of the parent trap. I loved how it was a perfect like transitional jacket when it's still kind of warm, but you still need something over your t-shirt or something like that. I thought this was great. Again, for the springtime, I thought this was a really nice jacket. So this is, was just a really good transitional piece that I purchased. And I just love the parent trap. So this reminded me of it, even though... I'm debating whether the name was Elizabeth. I think it's Elizabeth James. I think that's the name. I'm pretty positive. So that's what this reminded me of, and I just had to get it because it reminded me of that, and I also really love it. So that's that piece. This piece is a newer purchase of mine, and you guys will probably recognize this because I just did this in my fall thrift shop with me. I got this at where it's at on Main Street in Reicherstown. It's a really good consignment store that has contemporary brands, but also designer high-end brands. So highly recommend if you live in that area, but it's just a linen blazer. I've been wanting a linen blazer for so long, and I just never found one that either fit me right or I really loved. So when I found this one, and this one's by Vince, the color was just perfect, the fit was perfect, so I just had to get it. It was just, I knew Vince was also a really nice brand, so I knew the quality and how it was made was really well done, so everything just lined up, and I'm so glad I purchased it because I've already worn it before, and even though we're moving into more of the colder weather, I'm going to wear this as much as possible. I think I'm going to bring this to Florida because I feel like this, my sister said it's kind of chilly in Florida a little bit. So I might bring this because this will be a perfect like just throw on with a pair of jean shorts or jeans or anything with like a tank or something like that. So I just really needed a linen blazer to my collection. I don't have one and I think this is something somebody should have. Especially if you're obsessed with outerwear like I am. So that was that purchased. This is also a fan favorite of mine. I wear this all the time. I think I actually got this at Goodwill too. This is a Goodwill find and... I just loved how relaxed it was. I love the color. I love the simplicity of the structure and silhouette. It's just, I mean, it was just the perfect little jacket. I tried to go on and I was like, that is coming home with me. It was a no-brainer kind of purchase. I was just obsessed with it. And I have worn this so much since purchasing it. I definitely got my money's worth and more. So yeah, this was just kind of my no-brainer, had to have it fit right in with my style kind of purchase. Okay, the next blazer is definitely the most out there blazer out of my collection. It's very different for me in regards to a color. It is this purpley, light purple color, like mauve color. And I found this in New York when I was interning, I'm pretty sure interning at the time at Sierra Fashion Book. And I just thought this was the coolest blazer. I wore it with some brown leather pants and with like brown booties. I stole the booties and the pants from my cousin because I was living with her at the time. And I was just so obsessed with that outfit. And I just remember going into work and being like, I feel like a fashion intern because it just was really cool at the time. I just loved it. I thought I was, I looked so good in it. And this blazer I was obsessed with, mainly because of the button detailing, I'll come closer, I just thought it was so different. So it had two buttons and then a space, two buttons, a space, two buttons, space, and then another two buttons. I just loved how it was like nothing I saw before and I also loved how it was so close to the collar so you could actually tie it up and wear it like a shirt and that's how I actually wore it with the brown leather pants. And it was just so cool all tied up like that. It just looked really, really nice. So I haven't gotten as much use out of this because it is kind of hard for me to style because I'm not one to style color as much as 
other people I just stick to my neutrals but I love this and I want to start wearing this again because I just think it's a really cool blazer I just have to branch out a little bit more I'm looking over to my right and I see my cream Dorf Avenue trousers and that would look so good with this so I just gotta be a little bit more adventurous and pull this out of my closet sometimes but yeah this is one of my favorites and I just it also just immediately makes me remember of that outfit that I wore to work or one day when I was an intern and it just reminds me of a really fun time in my life so an exciting time I was so nervous when I was interning there so yeah this is just has good memories behind it and I think it's really cool and different. This next purchase, I also got this in New York, but I got this in New York last, last year when I went to go visit my friend Caroline who lives there. And we were just walking around Williamsburg because I wanted to go back to the place that I lived. I, if you didn't know, I used to live in New York for a little bit and I lived in Williamsburg. And we were just walking around there because I just wanted to go back. And I just love Williamsburg so much. So we walked and we saw a little thrift pop up and I saw this brown blazer and I just, I needed it. It was like $20. I had $20 in cash. And I know this is a big uh, TikTok trend, but this is so true to me. When I pay in cash, I feel like I didn't pay anything because it wasn't used on my credit card. It was just cash that I didn't even know I really, really realized I had. So it was like, I didn't even spend money, which is such girl math what is it called like the way girls view do math or whatever so that was definitely what I pictured or what I was going through when I purchased this I was like oh it's a no-brainer I have 20 dollars in cash so it's like I didn't even purchase it or didn't even spend money so yeah I just absolutely love this I love the brown blazer it's a thicker blazer so I was like this is perfect when it gets a little bit colder because it's thicker than my other blazers will keep me a little bit warmer. I didn't have a brown blazer at a time. I actually, yeah, this is my only solid brown blazer that I had, so, and I was obsessed with the color brown. I still am, but I knew I was like obsessed with it when I purchased this, so of course I just had, I had to get it. This is also a new blazer of mine. I found this at Goodwill when I went thrifting for my fall trends and I just loved the pattern to it. It was very different than anything I had in my closet. Well, not very different, it's a blazer, but the pattern to it, I don't have, I don't even know if it's like houndstooth. I don't know if that's the pattern, but I just really liked it. It was in this like brown, black kind of color and the buttons were brown. So I just thought it was really pretty and I liked how it fit. I liked the structure of it, so. Yeah, no brainer. Had to get it. <laughs> I feel like every time I show a jacket, I just I just had to get it. I mean, what can I say? I just my closet needed it. Not really, but needed it. Okay, this I actually have a matching skirt to it, and I actually found this at the same estate sale that I found this blazer, and it's this Dolce and Gabbana little blazer set. It was with a skirt that I have that. I'm just obsessed with and I just love the structure of it I love the material it was very different it is missing I guess it had like a belt to it so it is missing something because it has buttons but it doesn't really matter I like to wear this as a kind of shirt with like a pair of jeans I wore it to Thanksgiving a couple years ago and or maybe two years ago I wore it to Thanksgiving and I just loved it you look so chic so instantly I wore it with a pair of like cream jeans and it looked so good so I like how you can easily dress this up and dress this down and the structure of it I mean it's still Che Gabbana so you know the quality and everything is just so yeah again had to have it and I just loved how it was like a set I never wear it as a set but as I'm getting older I feel like I'll wear it a lot more I just felt like it was very dressy when I first purchased it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I did. The, this blazer is one blazer that I'm just constantly throwing on. It's a longer black blazer. I think I got it in Florida and I almost passed up on it, but I didn't because I 
which I'm so glad I didn't because this is just the type of blazer that everybody needs in your closet. You need a simple black blazer that's this length, just the mid length, the perfect size, fits, form fitted but not too tight, and this is it. I wear this all the time. It's the blazer I am constantly going for. And why I purchased this is because I have my black Durf Avenue blazer, but it's too oversized on me, so I don't wear it a lot. And when I saw this, I was like, okay, this fits perfectly. This is how I wanted, more so how I wanted the Durf Avenue one to fit. I got it in a small, and I should have got the blazer in an extra small. But anyway, that's beside the point. I just, I'm obsessed with this. This is like just my perfect everyday black blazer that I'm constantly grabbing every fall and winter. It's so good and it's thin enough that I can put like a wool coat over top of it. I'll show you later the wool coat that I usually wear over top of it so I love that I can layer it and it doesn't look too bulky. Um, it lays really nicely underneath like wool jackets. Moving on to trench coats. This is one that I got. I honestly don't remember where I got this but it's by Lee. And I just thought this was the coolest thing. I might have gotten this in Hamden at a vintage store, but I kind of forget. I was just obsessed with this when I saw it. I didn't have anything that was like kind of like this longer trench jacket kind of thing. And I loved the black suede. I thought it was very different. It fit so well. And again, it was a no-brainer. I just loved this so much. And I didn't have anything like this, or I still don't have anything like this at the time. And it was just one of those jackets that I just knew I would have forever and it would be timeless and I would just wear it all the time. So, love that. This is my new favorite trench of mine, this suede one that I got at the Esme Drawers 2 sample sale. I'm obsessed with this. It's like my new baby. I love it so much. I've already worn it twice and it's my favorite thing. Like, it is so beautiful. I wore it with my new The Real Real shirt underneath, and it looked so good. Like, just the two high neck collars, like, overlapping was just so beautiful. So, I will be wearing this all fall and into winter until it gets too cold that I need a heavier jacket. But this is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Now, this jacket is actually probably... For the longest time, and I guess forever will be because I was just so obsessed with it when I got it, I saw this on Aliyah Vintage, which is an online vintage store, and her pieces always go so fast, or at least it did when I bought this. So I literally set in a reminder on my phone because I saw this on Instagram or one of her stories, and it was just my dream jacket. I needed it, or I really wanted it. I didn't need it, but I really, really wanted it so bad. I said, and I told myself, no matter how expensive it is, I'm hitting by now. It's, it's ju it just has to happen. And I set a reminder, and I went on. I didn't look at anything, found the jacket. I've never purchased anything so fast in my life. It was just snapping your fingers, and it was in my cart, and I bought it, and done deal. And I'm so happy it did because it is the most unique thing that I have in my closet. And it's this leather, beautiful like yellowy beige trench with the tie detailing. The tie detailing makes any trench coat that much better. I love a tie detailing or a long coat. This jacket has a tie detailing. You'll notice a lot of my longer coats like this. I will get it. When it has a tie detailing, it's like a no-brainer. I have to have it. It just makes everything look so much better. It's crazy. I just love this so much and it's probably one of my coolest or my most like I need it vintage purchases I've ever done. I've never bought a vintage piece so fast in my life. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I've never purchased something and hit by now so fast when I did for this coat because I just wanted it so bad and I'm so glad. I'm so glad I set a timer because I will have this coat forever. Okay, moving on to my two heavy, heavy wool coats. The first one I got at a, it was actually we were going furniture shopping at this little festival outside and they had a, uh, they had a 
little vintage clothing booth and of course I had to go over there and look at it and I found this and it was just such a nice more evening jacket that I don't really have that would look good actually last year I wore it with I had to go to a lot of like galas with my boyfriend for work and this was the perfect jacket to wear over my nice like dresses and shorter dresses it looked really nice it looked more evening wear than other wool coats or jackets that I have I didn't have anything really that I could wear with like nicer pieces like a nice gown or a dress or skirts or something so I am very happy and I just love the cream color I thought it was very different I love how you can tie it up or button it up high um, to keep your neck warm in the winter time I also wore this when my boyfriend and I celebrated Christmas together, we went ice skating downtown and it was just so nice to kind of, you know, wrap my neck in this nice wool and I just love it. The color is so beautiful and I wore it, I wore it so much last year. So I'm sure I will wear it so much again this year. And this last coat is from Shop Vintage Collection. My mom actually got it for me this past year for Christmas and I didn't have, I have my long wool camel coat that I got at Everlane when I was in New York and I didn't have a winter coat and I needed one because New York winter is no joke. So I got that really quickly in New York but I didn't, I wanted a black one because I just felt it would, I just felt having a camel wool coat and a black wool coat is like perfect and like all that I really need because those colors will go with pretty much anything that I put on. And I found this on Shop Vintage Collection and I immediately sent it to my mom for just Christmas gift ideas and she got it for me and I'm so glad I did because it fits so perfectly. I love how simple it is and it's just, it's amazing. And it also has a little button detailing that you can close all the way at the top, which I just love because it keeps my neck so much warmer in the winter time so this was just such a good christmas gift for my mom that i will cherish forever but those are all my outerwear coats that i am just obsessed with and just can't stop buying i have an addiction and it's not going anywhere anytime soon because i i just can't help it it's something that i just love doing it makes me happy so why stop I guess but I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have lasted this long thank you because I'm sure this was a long video just kind of describing all my coats but hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one bye love you guys